How did you become interested in Core Flood? Uh, the first time that I saw it in, in 2003, uh, they, there was a uh, mass hack at a, a web hosting provider. And so we were in the course of investigating that to see uh, how it had happened and, uh, and uh, you know, who was behind it. Uh, because, you know, lots of users were just reporting in different forums that, you know, they had been hacked and, you know, couldn't figure out what this Trojan was. So, you know, whenever I see something like that, I'm interested in it and, and took it apart and, and noticed some, some very interesting things about the code at that time uh, that I didn't see a lot in malware. Um, one of the things was the, the attention to uh, debugging and uh, really a, a very professional uh, effort in, in the code base. So it, it seemed like something that you would see in a, in a uh, commercial software product almost, the, the level of detail of, uh, you know, just uh, checking for every possible error condition and, and, you know, putting output whenever there might be something going wrong. Typically, you don't see that in, in Trojans. They, they tend to be very um, cryptic and, you know, don't try to, to, you know, send out any more information about what they are than, than necessary. And this thing, you know, has hundreds of, of comments, uh, basically, in the, in the code for us, in the actual binary that's distributed, that, that tell what it's doing at any particular time, what the name of the actual Trojan is, what version it is. Um, so that was unusual. And so uh, seeing that, you know, I remember that, you know, and when I came across it again in 2008 and saw the exact same things, I was, I was a little surprised it was still in business and, you know, decided to look into it a little bit further. And, you know, that's when we started tracking down the controller and, and trying to get uh, the uh, information 